Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Megan Marin Tessico and for today's video, I'm going to be telling you about tax filing for international student. And of course, it's the first quarter of the year and it's tax file season again. So I hope you have gathered already the requirements needed and you have put in your calendar the important dates to remember. You might be wondering if you're not an international student or you're a new international student, why do you need to file taxes? So here in Canada, it's encouraged for you to file taxes even though you don't have any income. There are many reasons on why CRA would want you to file your taxes and I have put in the link below on where you can check it on. Now, for international student, most reason is because you want a refund. As an international student, you are eligible to get a refund from the government if you file your taxes even if you don't have any income. So for me, as for example, I was able to refund at least around 1300 Canadian dollars when I have filed my taxes when I was an international student. And today I'm going to be telling you the steps and the important things to know for you for this file tax season. The tax year runs from January to December each year and the deadline will be the April 30th of the year after. Whether you'll hire an accountant or you'll do it on your own, you will need to prepare these documents. First is your SIN number. Of course, you already have this when you have arrived here in Canada, so make sure you got it handy. The next is your T4 and your T4A. Now, these two are different. T4 are from the jobs that you have worked either on campus or off campus. And T4As are from the scholarships or bursaries that you have applied in your college. Now, where do you get this? Your T4 could be got from your employer. They will provide it to you or you can just ask them. For the college, you can get the T4 usually on their website and on your account. So if you have a Microsoft for your college, you can go into the website and log in there. You can also get your T4 in there. The one that you need to get from your college is the tuition receipt or the T2202. Another thing that you should get from your college is the tuition receipt or the T2202A. So what is this? This is a receipt of the college that they provide, which includes the number of hours that you have worked if you were a part-time or you were a full-time. And this will also include the tuition fee that you have paid. If in case you did a donation, you would also need to have that in your file. Donation receipts if you provide it to charities. If you have done in case an out-of-pocket medical, then you would also need to provide your medical receipts. You can also include the receipts from your landlord. But of course, this receipt does not include the on-campus residence. It's only if you are living outside of the campus. And of course, resident of Canada, even if you're a temporary resident, you need to declare your income both inside and outside Canada. And once you've submitted all these documents, you should receive a notice of assessment from the CRA in which is really important. So make sure once you receive this, keep this on your file, take a picture of it, make sure you have a record. Also wanted to add that once or before you submit your tax file or tax return, you will be able to see there how much refund you are possibly to get but that doesn't mean that whatever you have seen there is accurate it may change or it may not depending on what are the cra's assessment but at least you have an idea on how much you will be getting or how much you will be paying but mostly for international student you don't need to worry because usually you just get a refund it's just a matter of how much you will be getting as a refund and again once you have filed your tax return, you have received a notice of assessment, and you have your SIN number, then you can create a MyCRA account wherein you can check or you can see all of your tax information. This MyCRA will also allow you to receive correspondence from the CRA through online. And if you'll be getting a refund rather than receiving in a check, because in your first file you will receive it in a check, you can set it up on your bank and have a direct deposit less hassle for you for sure you may also be wondering when will you receive your refund so once you submitted it you will probably receive it at least within two weeks if you applied online 
and within eight weeks if you apply it in paper. I have also included here links on where you can check more information about tax filing for international students, the penalties if in case you will not be able to file on time, and other information that you need to know and is really relevant and important. I hope this video have helped you and if you're an aspiring international student or you know someone, we do help international students to come here to Canada with free assistance, so let us know and inform them. Again, I'm Marin Tessigo and I'll see you on my next vlog.